Hello friends and welcome to Obsidian Soft. Today I will show you how to code two drop downs where the second one is dependent on the first one. In MIT App Inventor, a drop down is called a spinner. As a bonus, I will be coding a very practical example. I will be making a country and city drop down where the city drop down is dependent on which country is selected in the country drop down. These are very much needed in apps where the user has to provide his city and country. Let's look at the demo. In all my tutorials, I show the demo before starting the tutorial so that you know the result of the video beforehand. We need country and city data for coding this project. I did a lot of research and wanted to find you a 100% free solution, so I didn't go for API calls and downloaded JSON files from GitHub that served our purpose. This and this are two files containing country and city data according to our needs. Both have countries as keys with the list of cities as values. You can open up the JSON file using a browser and go through it to see which one is more comprehensive for your app. And you can also carefully edit them using an editor like Notepad or Sublime Text. I will be using this one. So just click on this download raw file. And once it has been downloaded, open up MIT App Inventor. Start a new project. Make sure that the toolkit is expert. Okay. Upload the downloaded JSON file in the media section. So this one. It has been uploaded. Now for screen one, make a line horizontal center. So we will be making a very simple screen. I'm also just going to change the background color to orange and from user interface drag and drop a spinner and make its width 50% and rename it to country spinner okay select it and duplicate it by pressing Control C, Control V for Windows on the keyboard or Command C, Command V for Mac OS and rename this one to City Spinner. Add from storage a file component. This is for reading this JSON file. And from connectivity also add a web component. We need the web component for decoding the JSON. So now go to the block section. We need two global variables. The first one will contain our decoded JSON, so it will be a dictionary. Right click, duplicate. This one is a list containing all the countries. So go to lists and get the create empty list block. When the screen is initialized, we need to read our JSON file. So go to screen one and get its initialize event. And then go to file and get the procedure for reading from file name. So we have to provide the file name. And since it is a part of our project, the JSON file, make sure that you Put two forward slashes and then the name, exact name of your file. So make sure that there are no spelling mistakes. You can reconfirm the spelling from here. Okay, countries.json and this forward slash, forward slash countries.json. So this is the way to read any local file that is a part of your project. This procedure will trigger the files got text event once it has done the reading. So go to file one and get this when file one dot got text event 
In this one, we are first going to decode our JSON file into our global variable data. So get the setter from variables, choose data here. And now here is where we use the web component. So go down and this is JSON text decode with dictionaries. So get this one and the text is the text which has been read by the file component. And once it has been decoded, now remember, let's have a look at our JSON file again, that we have all the countries as keys. So we can compose a country list by getting all keys from this dictionary. So go to variables again, get another setter, choose country list and go to dictionaries and get the get keys block. And if you're still confused about these dictionaries, then please have a look at my special dictionaries and JSON tutorial. Go to variables again and get the get block and choose data here. Now we have to add an extra item at the first position and that is select country. Okay. So go to lists and get the insert list item block. And here the list is the country list. So get block country list. Index is one, the first position. And a text block that says select country. Okay. Now we are going to set a country spinner, that is its elements, to this country list. So I can duplicate it from here and here. And it will have an extra item on top, which says select country. Now what about the city spinner? In the beginning, when the user has not selected a country, we are just going to add one item to it, which says select city, okay? So go to city spinner and get its elements from string block, not the elements block, the elements from string block. And we are going to provide it just one string and that is select city. Okay. When the user selects a country from the country spinner, the after selecting event is triggered inside country spinner. So get that event and here selection contains whatever has been selected by the user. Okay. So we need to make a local variable from variables, get this second last block and let's call it city list. And we will give it the list of cities from our data dictionary, this one, against the key equal to the user selection. Okay, so go to dictionaries and get the get value for key block. And here you know that the key is selection. And the dictionary is our global data, so we can duplicate it from here. And if it is not found, it should not be a text block, it should be an empty list. Because our code is expecting a list. Okay, and then we are going to do the same thing that we did here, that is add an extra select city item at the first place. So I can duplicate this one and choose city list here and change this to select city. Okay. And once we have done that, what we're going to do is we are going to set our city spinners dot elements. So just duplicate the country spinner one and put it here and choose city spinner here and make sure that you choose city list. Okay. And once you have done that, another important thing that you need to do is that we want to reset the selection index to one. So we can duplicate this one. But this time, choose selection index. So this expects a number. And we go to math and get the number block and write one here. So this is done. I hope you like this video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, kindly do so so that you don't miss any of the great projects that I've planned for you. Thank you for watching. Have a good day and goodbye.